Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all you wild science and in-betweens out there. I'm your host Parmesan, and this is the Anytime Show. Oh yeah! At the time of recording this, we're not really allowed to go outside, which is really unfortunate. But if you're watching this in the future when we're allowed to go outside, kudos to you and congrats. And even though we're not allowed to go outside right now, that does not stop me from hanging out with my friends on the internet. In order to raise the spirit of my friends who are very much struggling at this time, and it's definitely not me that needs this, I have decided to create a game show to raise their spirits. How noble am I, right? Now this game show thing, I don't really know what to call it. It's called, I don't really know what to call it. I'm just calling it something. It's called Monologue Mania. And basically what it is, is two people get 10 words each, 10 ridiculous words, and they have to make a monologue out of it. After they've created their monologues, they'll hand, or in this case, send the other person the monologue that they wrote. And the other person will be required to read that monologue, cold read, or to read for the first time in a dramatic way, in front of uh, as many faces as we can fit on Zoom. Now the friend that I got to help me out in this situation and to be the other person reading and creating a monologue is my friend, drumroll please, Justin! We're each going to get 10 words. I have a list of 20 ridiculous words that we're going to choose from. Okay, Justin, list your words and then I'll list my words. Gigantic, gaping, idiotic, ludicrous, torque, grand, hom 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 <laughs> homogeneous. <laughs> Voluptuous, spewing, and dwarf. My words are, okay, the first one, hankering, spongy, melodious, squeegee, squeeze, voracious, ravenous, convoluted, qualities, pervasive. Uh, deadline to get, have it done is Friday night, because we're going to try and do this on Saturday. Thank you, Justin. I want you to be as creative as possible, and it has the the monologue has to be between a minute and three minutes long. It can't be just like a paragraph. It's got to be, it's got to be a good monologue, man. I want everyone to know before we start that I was not. How do you say? Good <laughs> English. Everyone, welcome. So you're probably wondering why I asked everyone to gather on Zoom. It's because Justin and I have a show planned for you today. Um, well, Sean just, planned it. He forced me I to do planned it. it. Actually, you did part. You, did, you. you did your half. And uh, Justin, will you send me, send me yours right now? I'll go first. Yeah, you. <clears throat> so I would like to establish something. I... I am choosing to be a character, and my character being a 97-year-old British woman. Thank <clears throat> you, mate. Sean, dear friends, I would like to take this time to tell you of a story about a dwarf and his grand adventure. It all started on Tuesday when our dwarf friend Shaq woke up. Now, Shaq was your average dwarf. He would eat the same meal every morning and then go to work at the law firm. After returning from work, he would then make a hot pocket and watch returns or reruns of Little People, Big World. Although Shaq and the other dwarves were homogenous, he always felt he was a little different from them. After watching reruns of Shaq, Shaq decided to go for a walk. Shaq walked for 30 minutes when all of a sudden, Ludacris, the rapper, came around the corner, spewing out his pre-concert trip cocktail. 
Shrax, <laughs> Shaq said in a high-pitched voice, Hey, Ludacris, you all right? Ludacris, Luda for short, replied, You, dwarf, come with me. Shaq followed Luda to the backstage of his personal arena. Luda then proceeded to go through a large door. And of course, Shaq followed. When Shaq entered the room, his mouth dropped to the floor as he gazed up at this gigantic spaceship. Luda then told Shaq about his plan to fly all the dwarves to Mars to, to repopulate it with a bunch of dwarves. At this point, Shaq realized Luda was actually trying to get rid of all the dwarves since the Lord of the Rings movies are all are more popular than all of the idiotic Vroom Vroom movies. Luda was still talking about his voluptuous desires towards his fancy Vroom Vroom. So Shaq used his this time to tear a huge gaping hole in Luda's spaceship. Luda, still distracted by his Vroom Vroom mobile, didn't notice Shaq slide under his car and mess with the torque so Luda can't chase him. But little did Shaq know that Luda locked him in there and had been watching the whole time. So when Shaq tried to escape, Luda pull, pulled out his tank and shot him with his revolver. But Shaq don't crack, so the bullet bounced off him and back towards Luda. Now Luda do crack, so he died. <laughs> then Shaq went back home and watched his reruns of Little People Big World. The end. I can't hear any of you, just so you know. You all muted yourselves. <laughs> I yeah, like, we don't want to like distract you from your Yeah, video. I muted myself so you could be amazing. You're welcome. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, so that was Justin's. I'm gonna send Justin the one that I prepared for him now. <laughs> it's so long. Okay. <laughs> so I'm also doing a character. It's myself. Um, a piece by Parmesan titled "All My Milkshakes," a monologue story. Okay, Sean, I need your help. How do you pronounce the first word? <laughs> Ravenous. That is how I would describe it. What, you may ask? It, the clown, with a voracious appetite for fear and children, also known as Ronald McDonald, who turned to this pastime of hunting fear and eating children after being replaced at McDonald's by a demonic, demented, democratic, bureaucratic, drug-addicted, aliens in the attic box with eyes. He had been hunting me for eight six seven five three oh nine minutes <laughs> and i had gained a tom hankering for a burger meister meister burger a the best burger in the west wild wild west wesley snipes i was in fear for my life because ronald threatened to squeeze my cheeks i could only assume he meant one thing <laughs> and immediately i thought of my Grandma, <laughs> she would squeeze my cheeks every time I visited. <laughs> I hated it. My face always hurt. Anyway, I had made my way halfway across the Take Me Home Country Road when I heard the mel melody. Sorry, guys. Oh gosh. Melodious voice of <laughs> none other than Shia LaBeouf. He was indeed running in the woods, Shia LaBeouf, killing for sport, Shia LaBeouf, eating all the bodies. Actually, I was just kidding about the last one. Shia started to run at me holding a squeegee, screaming with all fervor of his will. Wanna get spongy tonight? I got string cheese! Luckily, I had been preparing myself physically, mentally, politically, racially, Daisy Riley and Ratatouille. I kicked his ear with ease, punched his knee with agility, and finished him off with a massive quantities of the DVD of 2008 Disney Pixar movie Wally, -E, which caused Shia LaBeouf to drown in the sea of DVDs. 
is when the dust of a persuasive smell fell upon the take me home country road it had found me the clown had found me the joker had found me i was confused at this convoluted plot the joker or ronald mcdonald or post malone had come up with had come up with to eat me like all of the kitties prior richard prior i knew this was the end i prepared myself for the sweet release of death and it never came joker had a stroke and couldn't move his face the same ever again and that is why you should elect me student class president go tigers hurts it physically hurts yeah oh that was so I, uh, funny thank you thank you justin <laughs> gosh that was wonderful um <laughs> and uh connor i would I, I would like i would like to to know your thoughts on on this this entire experience really uh, i've just been pretty lost this whole time <laughs> 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 uh did you enjoy what you saw yeah yeah <laughs> 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 Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, who's was it? Your story, the second one. Yeah. Like halfway, I got a little lost. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> yeah, Justin did too, and he was reading it, so don't feel bad. I want to thank you, Justin, for doing this thing, mm -hmm. and I, I thank you all for joining me for watching or for. Yeah, I want comments afterwards to know if. This is something you want to see more of. Thank you all for, for joining me. And uh, good night, everyone. Yeah, I'm on 15. All right. You're gonna, I think you're going to like this one. It's Dwarf. Hey, hey, hey. I'm 5'10". <laughs>